there is no locks displayed in here however if i check the postman demo uh, main uh, freestyle project we have a new option here with the html report and here well you can access the results that you need for that particular execution hey masters welcome back to joint media welcome back to the postman course that we are publishing in this playlist postman course as you can see we have three different videos right now how hey, to masters, how to make your make uh, your first api request then how to uh, test your uh, api endpoint using po uh, post get a uh, uh, patch and and delete and then in the last video we saw how to use newman and how to use environment variables in your collection okay so today what we are going to be doing is basically um well kind of versioning our collection files in a github repository and um, then we're going to be using jenkins in order to execute it automatically if you want to do it um, and then at the end we're going to be using the newman reporter html uh, dependency in order to have well kind of better looking uh, results at the at the end of the uh, execution okay so let's go ahead and create a new folder here this is going to be named postman demo okay this folder is going to have a uh, well the, the collection uh, file that we have created in the in the last video and also the environment file okay so i'm going to copy it and paste it in my new folder postman demo then i'm going to well open up a cmd um, console here right and i'm going to be executing git init so this is going to be uh, an empty git repository right now right and we can start using it with with the command line or also using github desktop right i'm going to be using this because it is kind of better uh, looking and on, can be uh, understandable right i'm going to add the local repository and i'm going to choose where it is located it's going to be my desktop postman demo and uh, i'm going to select the folder at repository and as you can see now we have two files over here that we can send and we can uh, well yeah send to the local repository okay so i'm gonna commit this this is gonna be uh, adding a collection and bar and variables right yeah i'm gonna commit to master and then i can publish the repository to github.com I'm going to publish it and as you can see as far as I uh, actually as long as I do it I'm going to come here to my uh, github account and if I take a look of my repositories you can see that I have a postman demo over here with the collections that I have that I well yeah have in my local repository over here that's good now let's go ahead to the Jenkins part I'm going to create a new item this is going to be named postman demo 2 as as the repository it is going to be a freestyle project right if you want to uh, if you want me to make a pipeline video i can do it but uh, well it is up to you please let me know in the comment section please subscribe and let a like too <laughs> i'm gonna click on okay uh, then well we have to configure this freestyle jenkins project the first uh, step that i want to do is select this project is parameterized okay i'm not sure if i pronounced that correctly i'm sorry <laughs> I'm gonna add the parameter it is gonna be a string parameter and i'm gonna name this string parameter as branch name let's imagine that you have multiple branches right or you have one branch that you want to make sure it is working before merge it in master so you can run this same jenkins uh, job in different branches just using a parameter it is going to be the default value master because i don't have anything else in my branch right now but you can use another parameter or value i'm going to show how i'm going to show you how to do that in a few seconds uh, i'm going to well add a description specify the automation testing repo branch you want to use for example right and then i also have to click on advanced and use a custom workspace okay so i can show you what is going to be happening uh, step by step i'm going to create another folder here it's going to be named postman demo workspace okay and this is going to be the jenkins folder that is going to contain all the steps that we're going to be doing in jenkins okay i'm going to paste the directory over here and now 
we know that every single configuration or execution that we do in Jenkins is going to be working on, on this custom workspace in the Postman demo workspace at the desktop uh, part. Okay, then I'm going to be using a Git a repository in order to get all the collections, right? So uh, I'm going to uh, copy the, the repository URL over here. In this case, um, I'm not sure. Yeah, you, as you can see, it is not going to be working because right now the repository is private and well, we can add a credential and all the stuff. But well, if you want to keep this video uh, short, I think that I want to change the, the, the visibility to public. OK, I'm going to do it right away. Let me see. I'm going to copy and paste this. And as you can see now it is public and if i refresh this it should be working now right there it is if it is private you need to add the the, the github um, credentials or the ssh key and all the stuff but uh, well if you want me to do it i can do it in another video please let me know also that in the in the comment section but now you can also have or actually you can specify the branch that you want to use and as I told you before, you can use uh, a dynamic parameter to, well, just build it with the with the value that you need. In this case, I'm going to be using the branch, branch name as the parameter. I'm going to change the master here with a dollar sign curly braces. And inside of these curly braces, I, I just I'm going to add the branch name parameter that we have at the beginning of the project. Okay? Then um, what I'm going to be doing is, well, continue with the part I'm going to save this. I'm going to build with parameters. I'm going to show you how it works. In case you have another branch, you can specify that here, right? But in this case, I have master, as you can see in my uh, in my repo, right? Master. So you have to use master in this case. But if you have more, you can use it. I, that's the, the idea that I want to transmit or actually try to communicate with you right and as you can see now this build is working if i check the workspace as you can see over here now we have the collections from the that we have in the repository right every single time that you execute this um uh, job right it is going to be bringing the last commits or the last changes from the repository that's something important right um let's continue with the configure part um i'm gonna scroll down and i'm gonna be building a or actually adding an execute windows patch command okay if if you remember the last video about how to execute newman commands it is what it was something like this newman run and then you had to add the collection right with the uh, with the file extension at the end that json right and then you have to uh, well add the environment tag and then add also the uh, environment file with its proper um, file extension at the at the well, end of the line right and i'm gonna uh, well save these changes and i'm gonna build with parameters again and let's see what is happening here okay if I check the console output, it is finished with a failure, basically because Newman is not recognized as an internal or external command. Uh, well, I made a, a basic uh, research about what is happening here, and basically it is because Jenkins is not recognizing the, the Newman as a, a kind of environment variable. So you have two options. You can do the environment variable or you can come here to, uh, well, the app data folder that you have in Windows, okay? Look for uh, where it is NPM and then you can see that we have Newman here, well, right? As you can see, so I can do something like this. I'm gonna copy the path. I'm gonna look for the configure part and I'm gonna be replacing or actually adding a string over here i'm gonna well bring the newman to the string part and i'm gonna add um, a kind of a backslash over here and now it is gonna be like a newman if i do newman in a common line okay that's basically basically the workaround that i found for this okay so if i save this and i execute this with parameters again you can see that probably and i hope so <laughs> We're gonna have yeah there it is your collection running as expected and well in this case it finished with success that's good 
Um, now let's imagine that you want to add um, an HTML reporter, right? So you can have your results in, in a kind of file that you can share with other peers, right? So let's go ahead and I'm gonna close all these folders and I'm gonna be opening the uh, folder that has, um, well, the, the, the repository that I have published, right, in GitHub. And here I'm gonna be opening a command, uh, well, a CMD, right console and i'm gonna be installing this dependency the newman reporter html i'm gonna copy this right i'm gonna paste it and while well, it is gonna be downloading all the dependencies it is gonna be installed globally because of this uh, dash g uh, flag right here right so uh, i can execute the newman um well kind of reporter in every single folder that i have in my computer right and let's uh, well wait until this works and download all the dependencies right for for some reason it is <laughs> taking a lot of a lot of time probably because well my internet is sometimes uh, slow but no it is it is not the case well let's let's wait for a few seconds as you can see it is working we're installing all the dependencies and then i'm gonna be well doing this same command that I do in, in Jenkins, right? Let me pay, actually copy it. And uh, before I copy it in my CMD, I'm gonna open up a notepad and I'm gonna, well, change the, the path with Newman because when I execute this locally, well, we can execute it uh, with Newman itself, right? And as you can see, if I execute this again, it is working fine but now if i want to get a final report an html report i have to add uh, the well the r tag over here right the r flag and then specify html as you can see now we have no logs display in the cmd but however if i open the folder you can see that now we have a folder called newman and the inside of the newman we have an html report with the latest and actually a detail a report with what happened in that execution right now we did a one iteration uh, we did four requests okay and well we did seven assertions and as you can see well all of them passed as expected and now that what, what i want to do is basically do the same stuff in jenkins okay so i'm gonna come here i'm gonna add the art flag over here and also specify the reporter html and then um well you need to install the the polish html report uh, plugin in jenkins and then you can add uh, what you need here in this case i have to specify the html directory to archive okay so uh, in this case uh, we have to look for the newman folder right that is going to be containing the html report so i'm going to copy the, the the folder right the directory where my html is stored and then I, I have to look for the index page so in this case i have to look for um the name of the reporter however right now uh, well, it is a kind of tricky name because every single time that I execute this, you can see that it is going to be created with another parameters because it, it is going to store the, the results with different uh, different hours and, and the seconds, right? So, uh, well, the, what we can do in Jenkins is use an asterisk here, asterisk that HTML, and then we can save this, right? And if I build with parameters again, you can see that probably the build number four is going to be working there is no logs displayed in here however if i check the postman demo uh, main uh, freestyle project we have a new option here with the html report and here well you can access the results that you need for that particular execution uh, I think that there is another option, right? Because if I access the build number four, we have no HTML report for this particular build, right? However, if I come here to the configure part and I check the publish HTML report, I can use publishing options to uh, keep the uh, past HTML reports, right? And always, uh, or yeah, that, that's basically it. And if I save this, probably if I build with parameters again, 
I hope so. <laughs> uh, well, as soon as it is finished in the in the build number five, okay, let's wait for a few seconds. We're gonna have a report linked to that particular particular build, right? And if I access it now, it is working as expected. So, guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video. That's basically uh, another video of Young Media. Uh, I hope that you enjoy this. Please subscribe, let a like, because it is gonna help me to well reach other people and thank you very much for watching until the end thank you very much guys see you in the next one bye bye